everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're back with another video. If you're new here, we're the Garso twins, Carly and Britta, and we're happy you're here. And if you like this video, please subscribe before you leave. Today we thought it would be fun to show you guys what we keep on our nightstands. Maybe you won't be interested, but we thought it was more of a lifestyle type video, mm -hmm. which is kind of like what we've always really loved. Yeah. Like we love makeup, but we also love the whole lifestyle realm. And so this is kind of just like what we use on a day-to-day -day basis on our nightstand so there's I mean yeah things we literally use every day that maybe mm -hmm. we don't talk about in like our favorites videos yeah. so let's get into it okay it's Britta this is my nightstand and I kind of have like an open nightstand it's a bit of a I mean I, I can insert a picture of it maybe but it's a kind of like tray nightstand which I like because everything's really accessible so first up we have this Contigo water bottle and I actually recently got this because Carly has it and it's like the no spill kind which is like the Contigo um, like coffee travel mugs that we have and I really like this one because I was using a, like a normal swell type water bottle and I would often spill because I wouldn't put the cap on all the way this one you can't spill so I feel like it's good to have right next to the bed over here, you can't see this, but I have my Apple, um, what are these called? Earbuds? Uh, these are the ones for my phone, so I like to keep them right by my bed because I like to use these whenever I make a call. Uh, I don't really like to talk on my phone. I feel like the butt is more sanitary, and it's just easier and more hands-free. I've spoken about this before, and this is my vitamin organizer. Uh, kind of lame, but it works really well for me. Sunday through Saturday, I fill it every weekend so I think I fill it every Sunday after I use this day we're filming this on Saturday so I still have to take my vitamins um, but this having this on my nightstand just reminds me to take them every day because I don't set an alarm or everything works really well and I get them all in me every day and then we have this Laneige lip sleeping mask. Honestly, I can't believe I've gone through so much of this. I got this back, I think, in December, so I haven't even had it that long, and I use it every single night. Uh, it really stays on your lips and hydrates. I wake up and I can still feel it on, so this is a must-have on my nightstand. As an alternative, I have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Uh, this is my other favorite lip mask. I kind of, like I'll use this one more so during the day um, or I'll put this one on in the mornings. Uh, sometimes I'll sleep with this one on, but mostly I use the Laneige at night and this one during the day. So I like to keep it accessible. Next we have the Walita Skin Food. Um, this I use as a hand cream. If you've ever used this, it says you can use it anywhere on your body. You can even use it on your face. I know some people say it helps with eczema. Like, it's just a really awesome moisturizer. And this works really well on my dry hands in the winter time. So this is a must-have for me. I love this stuff so much. But I would have to say my all-time favorite hand cream is this Neutrogena um, Norwegian Formula Fragrance Free. I've been using this for probably a decade now. It's so cheap. I think you get it for like less than $5 at Target or Walmart. I have like a backup at all times. It's fragrance free. It literally just feels like a bomb, kind of like Aquaphor going on your hands. It heals dry skin almost instantly. So I have to keep this by my bed to use it at night. And then I've also been recently loving this Moroccan oil hand cream. You guys might think three hand creams is excessive, but I kind of like to change it up. And again, like I can use the Willita one and this one during the day, whereas the um, Neutrogena one definitely more for night. But this one has a really nice fragrance to it. It's very light. Um, this is a good day cream because it soaks into the skin right away, but it's not as moisturizing as the other two. So I kind of use this periodically throughout the day. And then over here, we have this Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I love this stuff. I was using um, a nail, what is it called? A cuticle oil for a while, but I felt like it was so messy, and the cuticle cream works just as well in hydrating the cuticles, and it's in like this nice tin, which is really great. So I keep this by my bedside table, and just a normal nail file. I've had this forever. Um, I don't use anything fancy. I swear this was like 10 cents. And I keep these here for whenever I do my nails. I'll usually do my nails in bed. And so I like to have them out so that they're easy to access. And then in here, I know we've spoken about these little jars before um, in an Amazon video, I believe. And they're just like these clear pots that you can put anything in. And so we like to use them to depot Aquaphor. So that's what's in here is Aquaphor, the, um, the, the original formula. And I like to use this on my lips. So um, this is another thing like I'll use at night 
or I also actually sometimes use this on my eyelids if I'm having like an eczema breakout I'll put this on to kind of seal in all the moisture any dry patches on my face I'll use this but mainly for lips so kind of another lip product but the main jar of Aquaphor is so big that I like to depot them this fits a lot better and then over here I have my handy dandy Sustain Ultra uh, eye drops and I buy these vials because they're preservative free and I've just I was reading a lot about preservatives and eye drops and how they're really bad for your eyes so I switched to these so I just have these handy um they're little like I said little vials they detach like this and you can use one at a time uh, I don't like that when you take the caps off you can't put them back on but I do have the Sustain like knockoffs from CVS and those you can put the caps back on so I actually prefer those but I'm trying to get through these because they're kind of pricey um, for eye drops but I just feel better about using them in my eyes because um, I have really dry eyes so I'll use those throughout the day usually only once a day honestly because I feel like the preservative free ones uh, last longer in my eyes and then over here, I know I've spoken about this before, I think in our recent Amazon favorites, this is the one question a day in my life so far journal. And basically it prompts you to answer one question a day um, for a year. So like this one, what skills did you develop or discover in adolescence? And what was the meanest thing you remember saying or doing in adolescence? Those are kind of your questions. But it really makes you remember like your childhood and basically by the time you're done with this, you should have like a life story put together. I just love that idea. One question a day is super easy to do um, and I've been loving this so far so I do this every morning I have an alarm set on my phone and then also I'll always have whatever book I'm reading that week uh, on my nightstand because I always read in bed right before I go to sleep so right now I'm reading well actually I haven't started it because it just came in the mail yesterday but Bad Blood uh, by John Carey Rue I think is how you say his name and um this is the book that started the Dropout podcast, and Carly and I have spoken about that podcast before. We loved it. Uh, I just finished listening to it, and I couldn't get enough of that story, so I thought that this book, which is um, so highly rated, I don't even, like, it says it's a national bestseller, but even on Amazon and Goodreads, it has, like, five out of five stars. So really, really excited to read that, but again, I always read it right before bed, so I keep that on my nightstand as well. And um, sometimes I'll have a candle on here, but I actually have like a um, another cabinet that I usually light candles on because there's a little bit more space. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it. Hopefully this isn't too boring, but I thought it would kind of be fun to share like the things I use every day. Obviously I have a hand cream and lip obsession. <laughs> Okay, this is my drawer, Carly's drawer, and as you can see, um, mine is different than Britta's. It's a drawer that comes out of my nightstand instead of hers is like a tray situation. So I have this really big drawer, and then I keep um, something separated with these little dividers. Um, I got these at Target. They're just these little plastic dividers that help me keep everything in its place. So back here... I keep like my hand cream and lip balm. So first up, a lot of these are repeats from Britta's, but you'll see the Walita Skin Food. Um, like she said, I love this for a hand cream, but also all over. Um, I love putting it under my eyes when they're really dry or my eyelids or just really anywhere that needs a lot of moisture um, at night. It's uh, just such a good cream. Then I have a ginger chew. Um, these are really good if you have an upset stomach easily. We love these. They just always calm our stomachs when they're upset. So I keep one in my nightstand. I have two of the small Laneige lip sleeping masks. Um, these came in a set around Christmas time and I have the big one in here too but I just keep these minis in here as well. I don't know why. They're just in here. Uh, I love the vanilla. It's my favorite one but I will say that I can't find it in the big size. They like took it off the website on Sephora but when it comes back in stock I definitely want to get it. This was also in Britta's video. This is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I love this stuff, just like she said. It's so nice for your cuticles. And I also use it for my, um, I don't know how you say it, like your cuticles on your toes. That sounds really weird, but I feel like those are like my problem area. Like my hand cuticles aren't that bad. But this works so nice on feet. So I really like it. It smells so lovely. It's like four ingredients. It's so cheap. Such a good product from Burt's Bees. Love that. Um, I keep an Invisibobble in here because you never know when you need one. These things are the best. They're just so easy to put your hair up. And then I also have this Lush Lotion. I bought it so long ago, um, but it lasts forever. I don't know. I just use it as a hand cream before I go to bed. And it is the Charity Pot. 
and I believe the Charity Pot is the only lotion they have that they sell in this small size. It's 1.7 ounces, so I think it's like perfect for a hand cream and it works really well. Again, smells so lovely, really good ingredients, really nice product. And moving over here, we have some more lip balms. I have my full size Laneige lip sleeping mask. Love this, use it every night. I don't know how Berta's is halfway through. We got ours at the same time and mine is like essentially full. She must use a lot, but um, I use this every night as well. Then I also have the Bite lip sleeping mask, or what is it called? It's the Bite Agave lip mask. I have two, I have the original and maple, and original is definitely my favorite I think it works a lot better than the scented ones, but the maple just smells so lovely and gives your lips a really nice kind of like brown sheen. So love both of these. And then my favorite thing I probably keep in the store is a pot of Aquaphor. I got this jar at Target, but like Britta said, you can get um, those jars we've recommended on Amazon and just put some Aquaphor in it because we have the big tubs, so then I can keep this in my nightstand. And it is just so nice. I love it so much. Aquaphor is the best thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> I put it everywhere I need to, and it's just so nice. And then next over in this area, I won't really talk about it. I just have some gum and some of my business cards for my job. I just have a lot of excess, so I just keep them in here so I know where they are. Then moving over here, I have headphones. Um, I don't know how to keep these straight. I really need AirPods because they get so tangled, but I love um, using this piece for phone calls. It's just so much nicer than holding the phone up. Oh, can you see Terry? Yeah. Terry's here. Um, and then this is the bottom to my ice roller, and so you keep the top part in the freezer. But the bottom reminds me to use it, and I like keeping it in my nightstand because I generally use my ice roller in the morning. So um, it's nice to have my nightstand, so it kind of reminds me to use it. And then I'll just go into the freezer and get the top part and use that. Um, this is just a connector for my charger. I have some pens. Oh, this is my wick trimmer for candles, and I really like it. It's just a matte black, and normally I keep a candle on top of this nightstand so then I can easily just grab my wick trimmer and trim it before lighting. Um, I have the same nail file as Brita. These are so cheap. I forgot what they're called. Like something board, but they come like four to a pack. Ivory board. They come four to a pack at Target. They're so affordable. Um, these are my sunglasses. I just keep them in here because my purse is so small. So when I'm not um, on the go, I just keep them in here so they're easy to grab. And then I have a coaster so that my beverages on top of my nightstand don't stain it. So just got the coaster there. And then this drawer, it's a little unorganized, but it's really all just um, external hard drives. Um, we, as you can see, this one's labeled Carly Blog. So we just keep all of our blog photography and everything on these so that they're not on our computer. So really convenient. And then this is so random, but I seriously didn't know how much I needed a ruler. I bought a ruler because I was always needing to measure things just for various reasons. And yeah, I keep it in my nightstand so it's easy to find. And I use it all the time. I didn't know I needed a ruler. Um, I have a sunglass cleaning kit right here. Don't use it too often. And yeah, I think that's it. That's everything in my nightstand. It's a really large nightstand. I love this. I'll link it down below if Target still has it because it keeps everything I need in it. So that's it. <laughs>